Porsche 718 Cayman Review assesses the cheapest sports car made by Porsche. Renamed with the addition of the three-digit badge in 2016's overhaul, the Cayman now undercuts its soft-top sibling, the similarly rebranded 718 Boxster. The two cars are essentially identical under the skin, but the Germans finally saw sense and followed market convention by pricing the tin-top coupe below the convertible Roadster choice from 2016 onwards, previously the Boxster was the cheaper car. Both models have jettisoned the charismatic flat-six engines in favor of much smaller, turbocharged four-cylinder motors. This is a very simple lineup, with just two models offered at launch. The 718 Cayman with its 2.0-liter flat for and the 718 Cayman S with a larger 2.5-liter version of the horizontally opposed engine. It's worth explaining what that engine layout means. Most road cars have the cylinders arranged vertically in a straight line, but Porsche is famous for its flat six engines, where the pistons are flattened, punching in opposite, or horizontally opposed directions. It's a great way of lowering the center of gravity of a car, and also provides a distinctive soundtrack. The junior Porsches are rivals to the BMW Z4, Jaguar F-Type and Mercedes-Benz SLC. Lower CO2 figures Improved fuel economy This means that the smallest Porsche follows the engineering blueprint of Subaru. The reason for shedding a pair of cylinders and all that cubic capacity is simple, the new Cayman has cleaner CO2 emissions meaning cheaper tax bills and less thirsty economy figures. On paper, at least. A win-win situation? Not quite. It's come at the expense of some engine character. This is a shame, since the sprinting link. Six-cylinder soundtrack was a highlight of pre-2016 Cayman sports cars. There's no doubting the turbocharged performance on offer, however. Even the base 718 has a decent turn of speed, although you have to rev the Cayman quite hard to access all the thrust. Pick the more powerful Cayman S and turbo lag the delay and power delivery you normally experience as the turbocharger starts spinning is even harder to encounter, this is a very fast car indeed. Choice of manual or PDK auto transmissions We've driven models with both 6-speed manual and 7-speed automatic PDK paddle shift gearboxes and are pleased to report that both are brilliant. Test drive one yourself and check which is your preferred method of cog swapping. Neither will disappoint. Driver engagement is what lies at the heart of the 718 Cayman's appeal. This car steers so sweetly, corners with a purity rarely encountered and yet retains a composed, cosseting ride quality that makes it a viable daily driver option. An everyday supercar practicality is strong on the 718. Considering this is a focused two-seat sports car, it comes with an impressive amount of space, thanks to a pair of boots front and rear, wrapped around the mid-mounted engine. You'll stow 150 liters under the bonnet and a further 125 out back under the tailgate. That's more than you'd accommodate in some super minis. Quality, too, is decent. It's a robustly built thing and one that pampers both passengers. Just watch out for a long list of optional extras, that can quickly send the price tag spiraling. The 718 Cayman is that rare thing, a high-quality sports car that'll thrill when you're in the mood, and just get on unobtrusively with the business of driving from Mab when you're commuting. It's the perfect everyday supercar. Read the full Porsche 718 Cayman review to read the details on the cheapest Porsche sports car. Instant turbocharged punch on tap but flat six howl is lost to turbos a very rapid sports car indeed it's hard to believe the 718 Cayman is the cheapest car in Porsche's range now, such is its performance. Even the slowest entry level model can top 170 miles per hour and crack the benchmark 062 miles per hour sprint in 5.1 seconds no mean feat. Step up to the S, and that figure drops to 4.6 seconds while top speed climbs to 177 miles per hour there's no denying that the switch to smaller, downsized 4 cylinder power has come at the expense of an orally stimulating soundtrack, however. The whip-crack flat-six spark that has come to characterize generations of Porsche has, sadly, been lost with the loss of those two cylinders. What the Cayman has not lost is outright speed. 
you'll maybe detect a tiny bit of turbo associated delay if you catch it off boost in the wrong gear, but this is a problem rarely encountered on the road. Instead, you get lashings of pulling power thanks to the colossal to work on tap. If you can afford it, we'd recommend picking the S, but the entry level 718 is no disappointment. We've tested both 6-speed manual and 7-speed PDK automatic derivatives and can attest it's really down to personal preference. The DIY choice is a pleasure to use and suits the character of the car well, but if you live in a city or prefer autos, we'd heartily support the PDK choice too. Gear changes are quickly and smoothly carried out, and this version is actually cleaner and more efficient. One of the sweetest handling cars of all sublime poise and handling overall guaranteed to put fun back into driving this is a rewarding car to drive, for both the enthusiast and the sports car newcomer. We can think of few vehicles we'd rather drive along a twisting mountain road, at any price. The poised balance provided by having the engine positioned amidships is the key to this agile handling, aided by rear wheel drive. In short, the 718 Cayman is seemingly plugged into your synapses, pointing into a corner the moment your brain sends messages to your fingertips. Steering is well judged, quick and accurate, with no hint of the nervousness you'll find in Big Brother the 911. And the chassis is well set up for comfort, the suspension quashes body roll effectively and yet there's real compliance here, even on the larger 20-inch wheels many buyers may spec. For the best tried comfort, However, we'd recommend sticking with smaller rims. The Cayman comes with 18 inches wheels as standard, rising to 19 inches alloys on the Cayman S. The Porsche Active Suspension Management PASM option is worth pursuing for its blend of sporting firmness and softer compliance allowed by switchable dampers. Focused coupe cabin feels expensive much improved infotainment system interior is well built. Should last the 2016 upgrade really improved the cabin ambience of the Cayman, not always the two-seater's ace card. Where hard plastics once reigned supreme, Porsche has subtly improved the quality of construction and the 718 now sports a cabin worthy of the crested badge. When you first climb in, you'll appreciate the good driving position, it's snug but everything's where it should be and you can see out in all directions. The analog dials are clearly laid out and the PCM navigation module brings a configurable display that can beam up maps or trip computer info at the push of a button. The best bit? The new infotainment system, which has finally come of age. A centrally mounted touchscreen now controls the audio, satnav and phone commands and responds easily to prods and swipes of the finger. It's a big improvement. Low slung two seater sports car choice of sports seats available ride comfort good, especially on PASM chassis. You wouldn't necessarily think of a two seat sports car as being a comfy place to sit, but the 718 really is that good. For a car of this type, it's easy to climb in and out of, although you should avoid the high wind sports seats if you value everyday practicality. Once you're installed in the snug cabin, it's a very comfortable environment. All major controls are well placed and the driving position is first rate. We'd recommend trying various different seats, as you can specify bucket chairs with extra support for track use. These may resist sideways cornering forces, but aren't necessarily as relaxed and supportive as the standard items. Ride comfort is surprisingly polished, the 718 smothering road potholes and bumps with aplomb on most of the alloy wheel options. Specify the optional PASM for the most comfortable ride and stick to smaller diameter alloy wheels if smooth progress is your priority. Not the best equipped car but all the basics are there 18 inch alloys as standard gone are the days of strippy out Porsches. Every 718 comes as standard with 18 inch alloy wheels, Xenon headlamps, Porsche communication management, climate control and a sport button to tailor throttle response. Optional equipment is extensive on the Cayman. The only limits are your imagination and bank balance. Useful accessories include DAB radio a stingy emission in this day and age in the Porsche Sports exhaust, which boosts the thrummy nature of the four-cylinder boxer engines. But if you want to push the boat out, you can also order a TV tuner.
choice of Bose or Burmester Hi-Fi and even ceramic brake discs for race car stopping power at the note and significant cost of £5,000, though they usually last far longer than traditional steel discs. 718 Cayman is dripping in safety kit 6 airbags to protect you plenty of electro nannies keep you safe Porsche is a brand renowned for its safety prowess and the Cayman is well equipped with hardware, and software, to keep its occupants well protected in a crash. And many of the systems are designed to prevent an accident happening in the first place. Every 718 comes with twin airbags in front of both occupants built into the side of the seat bolster and the headliner to cushion bodies from the most serious impacts. But just as important is the equipment helping drivers to avoid a collision, Bixen on headlamps are standard they'll flick on automatically at dusk, the door mirrors are heated to clear frost on wintry morning and the huge brake discs clamped by four piston calipers are supremely powerful, as you'd expect from a Porsche. Roomy cabin for two boots front and rear remarkably practical for its ilk the Porsche 718 Cayman is surprisingly practical for a two-seater sports car. The cabin is snug, but just right for a pair of occupants. Entry and exit is pretty straightforward, too, with doors that open easily and wide. There are a couple of cubbies dotted around the cabin and you can hang a coat behind the front seats. But the best bit is the twin boot arrangement allowed by the mid-mounted engine. Where you'd find the motor under the bonnet of a conventional family car lies a deep, square-shaped 150-liter boot. You'll easily stow a couple of soft bags in there. And then there's a further 125-liter luggage compartment under the rear tailgate. The Cayman has hidden luggage lugging powers, make no mistake.